Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video in this video number 37 about Ansible. I'd like to show you two new modules. The first one uh, is uh, the synchronize module and the second assemble module. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. If you want, you can like it and uh, comment this video. Purposes uh, of this tutorial. Uh, in the first part, uh, we'll see synchronize module. This is like a rsync command in Linux. Uh, by default, with Ansible, we like to use uh, to use uh, uh, the copy module. But in many cases, you can prefer to use synchronize module. For example, you if you have a, a bad bandwidth or uh, un connection, you can use uh, rsync with the, the synchronized module, it's better. Uh, and in the second part, we'll see assemble module uh, to concatenate uh, many files in one file on our target server. Some parameters about a synchronize, the synchronized module. The first one, archive uh, to keep permissions on, uh, on the target file or directories, a checksum uh, to check the, the integrity of uh, the, fi the file uh, with a checksum. Uh, to compress, uh, we have uh, the compress parameter to compress and preserve the, your, ban your bandwidth. Uh, you can use uh, a compress parameter. Copy links uh, to copy uh, symbolic links. You can use it. Delete. Uh, this is special to remove all files not present on uh, the source uh, on your target server. You can use delete uh, delete option. Dest, of course, uh, to define the destination path. Uh, the dest port uh, to set a specific port. If you use uh, SSH uh, with your rsync uh, uh, command, you can. Uh, uh, you can define a specific port with dest port. Um, there's uh, to transfer uh, directories only and not uh, files. Existing only uh, to synchronize only files already exist on the target uh, on the target server, uh, and you just want to synchronize only uh, these files. Group. Um, to, to preserve the, uh, the group of, uh, of file or directories. Links to copy symbolic links. Mod, uh, which mod do you want to use uh, with the synchronize module? If you want, you can push, uh, use a push mod uh, when you use uh, the, the synchronize module on uh, the the, the Ansible server or pull mode if you want you can use it uh, on the target server. Owner, the owner uh, to keep uh, the owner of, uh, of files and, uh, and directories. Partial to preserve uh, partial files uh, like uh, rsync uh, for example. Uh, you can do it. Perms uh, to keep permissions. Recursive, if you want to copy files, uh, even if files uh, are in subdirectories. Rsync options, uh, if you want to set other uh, options about uh, rsync command, you can use it with, uh, with rsync options. Uh, rsync pass uh, to define a specific path uh, where Ansible can find uh, the, the, uh, the rsync uh, command. rsync timeout to define a timeout uh, for the rsync command. And you can use set remote user to use a specific user on the, the target server, on the remote uh, server. SRC uh, to define a source, uh, to define the source files, of course, or directories. Times to keep, uh, to keep the, the date of uh, our uh, source files or directories. Use SSH args 
to define other uh, arguments uh, about SSH command when you use SSH uh, in uh, AirSync in the synchronized module. And now we can do some example. The first one, we just uh, want to transfer uh, or to to copy to synchronize uh, a big file with uh, one gig. So uh, to do it, I just want to use the our script of uh, of the the twelve video, uh, the video number twelve. I use deploy.sh, and I want to create uh, two virtual machine like uh, two container like virtual machine with SSH and uh, systemd. You can see it in uh, the video number uh, 12. And uh, to help us, I can use dash dash Ansible option. And now I have an Ansible directory with a specific inventory and uh, group vars and host vars uh, directory. So now I can go in Visual Studio Code in Ansible directory and I want to create a new playbook file. And I had a name for this playbook file, uh, my first playbook again. And uh, I want to uh, I want to use it on all server with the, the whole group and I had a task and in this task I want to synchronize sorry yes I want in the first task I want to ensure I have uh, AirSync on our uh, target server okay like it uh, careful to indentation so here we need to use a become yes if you want you can set it for uh, the entire playbook to do it you can do it here or if you want you can just add it in on uh, a specific task here uh, ensure we uh, ensure uh, everything ready install okay uh, I think installed. Oh, sorry, installed here. Uh, and in this second task, what I want to do, I want to synchronize uh, xavki.txt uh, file, and I want to push it in slash tmp on our target server. Um, and to do it, I just need to create this file on our Ansible server, zavki.txt, and to do it, we use truncate-s uh, and uh, one gig. This is the size of our, our file, so I can do it uh, here. I go in Ansible here, truncate, sorry, tron, truncate, dash s, and one gig and I want to have a xavki.txt file. If I check now I have a specific file uh, xavki.txt with one gig uh, with a size of one gig. So now we can run it uh, so we can save it and in a second terminal we can go on one of our target server with SSH 172.17.0.2 for example and I do a ls on slash tmp. With this, uh, this directory is uh, empty but now and I want to run a non dash playbook and stable playbook dash i my inventory and my playbook file. I run it and uh, Ansible ensure we have uh, AirSync on our target server. Okay. And now Ansible copy our xavki.txt file. That takes a few seconds. Okay. Ansible have a changed uh, status. 
and we can run an ls command and now we have our xavki.txt file with one gig okay um, a second example yes um, in this example i want just i just want to copy uh, a directories with many files in this case we have uh, 1000 files so I want to create it in our Ansible directory uh, like here yes right and uh, now if I check uh, I do a ls in files okay we have many files and to check uh, the, ne the number of this file we can run an uh, and, uh, wc dash l right we have uh, 1000 file and to do it to copy it on our target server we just want to use a source uh, with uh, files only okay this is uh, our directory we define it here and we want to copy it uh, in uh, slash tmp files here files Okay, before we need to create create a files directory on our target server and to do oh and to do it oh sorry and to do it we use the file the file module the path and our path is uh, slash tmp files and we want uh, to add a state to directory to create a directory not a file so I run it again oh no not this one um, ansible dash i our inventory and our playbook file and now if we check uh, our slash tmp directory we have a file directory and we can check we have uh, 1000 files in uh, in this directory okay right now this is the second part of our uh, video and we see the assemble uh, assemble module with some parameters we can use a backup parameter uh, to back up a file uh, before to update it uh, we can set the decrypt uh, to decrypt or not decrypt uh, a vault uh, file a vaulted file um, we can use a delimiter because at the assemble module uh, the assemble module um, help us allow us to to concatenate uh, many files in one file and uh, we can set a delimiter between each uh, file on our target file just uh, to set uh, the target file and the group to define the file group regex is very important if you want you can use a regular expression uh, to use a specific pattern uh, to, fi to find some uh, files uh, in uh, in uh, directories remote src to run uh, on remote server or not src uh, the source directory of course validate you can use a, a command to validate uh, to validate if uh, the target file is okay or not a simple example yes just one example for for this one what we do in the first uh, task we want to create a slash tmp source uh, on uh, on our target server and we want in in this uh, playbook we want to concatenate uh, three files t1 t2 and t3 on our target server and uh, 
we have a, a source a directory with slash tmp slash sources where we can find a t1, t2, and t3. And we want to create a new file with uh, this, these uh, three files in slash tmp myconf.cfg. Okay. So I save it. We need uh, to have a file directory, but I can remove uh, uh, in file directory. I want to remove all file, and I want to create our file directory t1. So, uh, I am t1, and uh, I want to copy t1 in uh, t2 okay t2 and t3 and I change the content of our files um, t2 and I am t3 okay right and now oh, and now we can test our playbook so I save it in this playbook we just want uh, to ensure we have slash tmp sources on our target server in slash tmp sources we add uh, the content of files directory uh, uh, of our ansible server with uh, three item t1 t2 and t3 this is uh, the name of uh, our uh, files and in the last task we just want to assemble to concatenate all files uh, in the sources directory in a new file in slash tmp uh, myconf.cfg I save it and now I run it again here yes here I run it and now we can check in slash tmp sources we have three files okay and we can now just to check it we can add a cat uh, of our files and now we have a new file my myconf.cfg and for all files we have concatenated uh, all content of this file. If we want, we can use a, delim a specific delimiter. Uh, I think uh, like it, uh, like delimiter. And I want uh, to add this one. Oh, sorry. This one, I save it. And we can run it again. Okay. And we can check. And now we have a delimiter between each content file. Right, uh, thank you for following this video. You can subscribe to my channel to not uh, to not meet, uh, to not miss the next video. You can comment this video and like it. And I see you in the next video. Bye.